Hello, YouTube land! It is your girl, Oh Natural Mama! And again, I'm here with another video! Hello! That's why you clicked on here, because you wanted to see me talk and listen to me and try to learn. Maybe you just like hearing my voice, because it's like, ah, it's so screechy! <laughs> Before I get started, I have all of my links down below in the description box for my OnlyFans. My VIP OnlyFans is 50% off. So if you want to subscribe to my OnlyFans down below, go ahead. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Holla! Be a part of my family. Have some fun with me. Let's hang out. That would mean the world to me. And thank you for watching this video. I'm excited to make this for you, and without further ado, let's get started. My video today is going to be how I market myself, and how do I know what photos, videos, like content to promote myself, like how do I pick and choose that? How do I know that's going to bring in fans to OnlyFans? You know, I like to say that I am just a different type of person. When you think of OnlyFans, you think of the sexy stuff, which is essentially what I do. And you think, hey, well, if you're going to be like marketing that and promoting that, then you need to post like the sexy stuff, like all of it, right? But since I'm just like so weird, I started marketing promoting myself on reddit i have a bazillion videos on reddit and in all my other videos i talked about reddit reddit is my number one promoting platform so i'll link some reddit videos down below if you want to learn about that when you're starting a reddit you have to gain karma I'm not going to go into depth into all this stuff but um to essentially gain karma i just had to post in like regular groups that doesn't have to do with sexy stuff and essentially just like be yourself on there and like talk to people comment like things and all that stuff so i took a different approach i did do all that stuff at the beginning like interacting people and posting in like dog groups subreddits at the beginning i honestly didn't show a lot of my like sexy side I was kind of a goofball on Reddit and I wanted to capture people's attention by really being myself and just showing the world that there is like this cuckoo gal out there that is taking a different approach on how she uh, promotes and how she like runs her OnlyFans because I do know that Reddit is a super great platform for sex workers, adult content creators, like the adult industry. It's super like friendly that way and welcoming. But because it is that way, there's a lot of hate on there as well because OnlyFans creators and people who do that type of work kind of tend to saturate it a little bit. And that's because we have to promote ourselves by doing that and it just kind of like overtakes the platform a little bit, which, you know, does make sense in the grand schemes of things. If you try posting in certain subreddits, like if you're an OnlyFans creator, you're not allowed to, you're not allowed to post your links in there, like you're not allowed to say, come follow me. Um, if you post in regular groups, some people come at you and like, why are you just promoting your page? And even though you just posted like, a picture wearing this <laughs> or something like people still try to get at you but I just tried to be goofy and didn't want to just like come out and say that I did OnlyFans of course I put it in my bio and like on my profile but I didn't really announce it all the time and didn't really like say come to my page so I just wanted to capture people's attention by just like showing them who I was as a person and my personality and just having fun out there. And when I did really, really like start Reddit and like made a name for myself, 
I did slowly get into posting a little bit more like risque photos at that time. It was summertime, so that I was camping a lot and I was at the beach and it was hot out, so I'd be like in my bathing suit anyways. So that was kind of a little bit of like a transition. I was able to be kind of comfortable doing that and like showing the odd stuff. If there's like fellow Redditors on here, um, ones that have been following me for a long time know me kind of as like the girl that poses with cows <laughs> in the middle of nowhere, straight up in the buff. And I've done this in the snow and I've done this in the summertime. And I kind of like, made my mark I guess by doing something ridiculous like that and people just started to like follow me and like that funness and that spunk and that like fun flair so that really did help me by becoming a little bit known on reddit when you are trying to like market yourself try if you can like there's nothing wrong with being like normal being who you are whoever you are and just doing things that you're comfortable with that may be like simple and you can't maybe do things as ridiculous that i can do but trying to just do things that are like a little bit different than the other thousands of content creators that are all fighting for subscribers and income so you just try to do something that's like a little bit different if you can in a way and don't get discouraged if like your one post doesn't get any votes or comments it's out there right so just keep doing your thing and eventually you're gonna gain followers and you're gonna gain subscribers it did take me a while to like know what kind of content i wanted to use to promote myself since my first original OnlyFans page was a pay-per-view page so it was at that time I think it was five dollars to subscribe and you had to you still do but you have to pay to view the um, my kitty and you had to pay to view to see me like doing things in kind of like the my birthday suit that that wasn't exactly like sex like sexual but like doing things in my full birthday suit kind of like getting out of the towel from a shower and stuff or getting undressed or getting dressed like that type of stuff i did charge and as you grow on only fans you know you want to grow with your fans and what i mean by that is of course when you're starting out you're not gonna be making a bunch of money you're not gonna like that's just like common sense so you do want to charge for things and you do at the same time kind of want to bring people in so you do kind of want to have sales but you want to like grow your base and you want to grow who you are and you want to grow your platform and you want to grow your income so definitely if you're going like the pay-per-view route trying to i guess like selling as much stuff as you can um, but I always, for me, I always like to do it the least spammy way, I guess. I like to be more like, uh, people can choose whether they want to buy something and whether they want to purchase something. Like, I don't really like push it on people. However, if you, maybe you're pushy, you can make way more money than me. I don't know. I just, I just like to be more like, I don't even know what the word is. More just like human to human. <laughs> I guess I've worked in retail forever and like customer service especially working at Starbucks so I have this different kind of perspective on people and customers and like how important that connection is I guess so I'm kind of a little bit different for your like typical OnlyFans creator um, there is no wrong way of doing it. You do it however you want to do. If you want to hustle and you have goals and you have things that you need to do, like freaking hustle that by all means. You do you however you want to. This is just me. I'm just a weirdo, but that makes me stand out, I guess. Anyways, I was like, you know, charging for all these things. And now, as I was saying, you want to grow with your fans. So as you start to finally like get to a certain goal of fans that you've wanted or a certain amount of income that you're making consistently every month or every week 
as I grew, at this point, I've also sold a lot of content where I was like in my birthday suit and I was doing solo play and I was doing all this stuff that I was kind of like scared to just like show everybody on my OnlyFans page as opposed to just like showing a couple people. So as time went on and I started to get a lot more fans, I was like, you know what? I'm still, I was still so nervous to post my first like birthday suit photo on OnlyFans I oh my gosh I remember it was like I was just so freaking scared and I wrote on my post that this was a huge step for me and I was really nervous but everyone had been so great on there and like so patient with me and just like love the experience I was giving them so that kind of really helped me be comfortable but I remember when I posted I just like turned my phone off I like threw it across the room I like closed my eyes I was like oh my god I can't believe I just did that <laughs> even though people are paying a monthly subscription to see that <laughs> so it did turn out really well and of course like being myself and being vulnerable and like expressing that like people really show appreciation for that and there was like tips were made on that not like anything crazy but there was money made on top of like the photo that i just posted for free well in my like in my page that was paid for that was kind of the beginning of like me being really co comfortable and confident and it definitely is a confidence and a, like a comfortable like you have to be comfortable in having those eyes, like that many eyes on you to post those type of pictures. So it could be, you know, you could be comfortable doing it like straight from day one, or you could be comfortable doing it two years down the road. I think from doing it full time, like restarting and doing it full time, I think it was maybe two months in, I think. And I finally did that. I never ever like, show my like kitty or like my back end fully spread like I never show any of that stuff on there for free still but like just like full body like standing up or like sitting and whatever then I will show that I also did a bunch of like get ready with me's and like hangouts with me where I would be drinking coffee and stuff and I would be in my birthday suit and that type of content and as I said, like growing with your fans, the more income I kind of made, also the more comfortable I was putting that content out there as well because now I was like, hey, I am making a reasonable amount of money. I'm kind of okay with showcasing more. So as the money grows, like being open to kind of showing a little bit more. I read a book and it was The Power by Rhonda Burns. I think that's what her name was. I can't remember her full name, but I've read like The Secret and The Magic and The Power by her. And in one of her quotes in The Power, I'm pretty sure, <laughs> don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure in The Power. And she wrote like giving more for your, for the money, right? And that kind of always like stuck with me a little bit that if you are giving a little bit more than what people are paying for then that makes them more like in like more enticed to stay a little bit longer and to feel appreciated and maybe be more generous with like the amount of money that they're gonna tip you or ask for content uh customs so it really all depends there's really like no way of doing this when i do reddit like i I don't know how long it took me to post like full body like birthday suits photos but I still have never shown like my full kitty or booty back end spread again like I don't really ever do that there's like the odd times where it slips in there um, on purpose but it's pretty like that stuff is excluded but if you look on Reddit, you will see that there's so many like X or triple X rated like pictures, videos, gifts on there. And people just do the whole thing, like just do the whole thing. So it's whatever you're comfortable with. I know that with like fans, 
it's kind of tricky because fans are going to pay for you to view your content and if it's like a lot of money they kind of want to know what they're getting into because when they see your profile they only see your profile picture your uh banner and your bio and then whatever kind of pictures you've put in out for promotion like promoting yourself and if they haven't liked what they've seen while you're promoting then they're less likely to subscribe sometimes people like to like see you know the whole thing in order to be like okay i need to see more of this so you really gotta like pick and choose what tactic you want to work with at the same time like i kind of think well why why would i just constantly post that my kitty on reddit for free when i'm charging it on OnlyFans? like that doesn't really make sense to me but like I said, like the odd times I have done it and I have done it where it was a real picture of like full everything, but I cropped it like right at, you know, where you want to see more and the wanting to see more and you still see like this little bit, you know, it's like, ooh, okay, like I do want to see more. So that's kind of where I'm at with promoting on reddit i don't think i'll ever show the whole hoo-ha <laughs> honestly i've gone this far with being successful without doing that so i don't think i'm going to ever and i'm definitely not going to do like any like crazy stuff like that really i do do a little the odd like toy stuff on there but you can't like see the full like thing but it's like to you know to bring in my my people you know <laughs> But again, I have been on Reddit for a long time. I have like a lot, a lot, a lot of followers on Reddit. It also depends on my mood and if I'm trying to hit like a really big goal or something. So it just depends. Generally though, when I do post like photos, I try to post like the best photos I can while like covering myself. Those are the photos that I use to promote myself. And then when I post them on my OnlyFans, like I show the photos that show everything depending upon which page I have. Cause I also have my no pay-per-view page as well. Cause I have two pages and on there, like I show everything. So it's not really hard for me to pick and choose like what to post on there to show the whole, whatever, <laughs> whatever I did that day, that's what you're going to see. Like there's nothing hiding in there. With my other page, it's just a little bit like more, I'll crop stuff off, I'll blur stuff out, I will do a, I will do a photo where I'm like covering and then I'll be like tip if you want to see the uncensored version or the full video or if I went like the messaging, the pay-per-view messaging route for my page where I sell content, then I would just send it in the messages with that picture like that cropped picture the blurred picture i would send it in the message and then i would lock my um, full photo or my full video for the price in my messages so it would go like that now i also do like market promote myself on my instagram that i started a little while ago i don't do that like f i'm not committed to instagram I've always struggled with Instagram personally, so I'm not really like on there all the time. I find that I kind of use Instagram a little bit more to promote my YouTube a little bit. I do have like all my links in my Instagram and I do promote my OnlyFans on there, but not as hardcore as Reddit because you can't be hardcore on Instagram. You're going to get banned. So it's kind of hard to, to do it fully. So that's why I do choose Reddit because I know that it works for me and it's very like adult friendly and then another marketing promoting is my youtube of course helping you guys and putting my name out there that really helps to for people to find me if they like my youtube then they can go to my only fans if they want to learn more if you're like a creator or if you're just a fan you want to be like hey i want to go to her only fans then youtube is like a really good place as well so i guess really knowing what content to promote yourself with and to market yourself with is based on your, your comfortability if that's a word 
and it just depends on how far you want to show yourself off to the world there's so many different ways of doing it I've seen girls who just post their face all the time like they don't even show their body really and they just constantly like promote that promote that promote that um, you can show the whole thing you can just be in bathing suits you can be in lingerie you can do little videos like cute little videos like I was doing one with like putting on my lip chap and it just depends on who you are as a person and how you've laid out your pages and your platforms and trying to be your true self and not trying to like copy other people as well like just being you and trying to find that uniqueness about you that you can really make shine and that could be anything that could be something like physical about you that's unique or that could be something about like a personality like me that's unique or how you live like my also my like rv lifestyle where you live maybe what you do for work or really like anything you can kind of what you wear how you look as a part like anything could be kind of unique you just kind of gotta like sit back and just kind of like figure out okay what what is kind of special for me like about me and how can i embrace that and how can i like use that to my advantage in a way right and so i hope that kind of helped you guys out a little bit for marketing it's always hard to you know say how to do it because every single person on here is different every single fan is different like every fan likes something different whether it's like your tatas your boudet lingerie your birthday suit feet like covered photos bellies like there's people everywhere that like so many different things so it's just being like open to everything and just showcasing like kind of everything that you got and then you just hope for the best and hopefully see those fans come in onto your only fans so again i'm going to mention that all my links are down below my vip page is 50 percent off and if you guys subscribe to my channel that'd be amazing and yeah i hope this helped you out a little bit again if you have questions let me know i will try my best to answer all your questions hope you have a great day and i will see you in my next video okay bye